All right, what's up guys? It's your boy, Trail the Trainer. I'm back, and in today's video, I have a very touchy subject that I want to touch on today. Now, let me preface by saying this. I'm in no way, shape, or form a sex expert. I have done research, I listen, and I have quite, quite a bit experience. So today, I'm gonna to be giving you guys a few secrets and tips on how to improve your sex skills. That's right, how to be better in bed. Oh, Trell, I don't need you to tell me how to have better sex. Oh, I've had sex with more women than you. Oh, I've done this, I'm this. Yeah, I'm sure everybody's macho, but these secrets, I promise you, if you use, she'll be going crazy. All right, let's jump right into it. My tip number one, have sex with someone that you're passionate about, someone that you love, someone that you care about, I promise you, It'll make these next few steps so much more pleasurable. You'll enjoy it a lot more. Follow these next few steps, but make sure that it's someone that you're passionate about, that you care about, that you're in love with, and not just anybody. That could be devastating. It could be fun, but devastating. All right, so let's jump into my tip number two. Gentlemen, do not worry about your size. It's really about the motion in the ocean. As long as you can use what you got to get where you need to go, you should be good. Do not compare yourself to those guys on the porn DVDs that you watch. They're taking all types of enhancements and whatnot. So do not compare yourself to those guys. It will cause so much insecurity. I believe, and I could, I could be wrong, but let's Google it. The, the average size penis for an adult it's probably about six inches. So if you cover six inches, you should be good. And if you don't, uh, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> All right, so I was wrong. The average American size penis erect is 5.1 inches. Guys, so if you cover five, you're good. You're average. So don't worry about size, guys. Listen closely. Here's one of my secrets that I never tell anybody. Number three, guys, drink a glass of watermelon juice or take a big ass bite of watermelon. Anybody know me know that watermelon is my favorite fruit, but why watermelon, Trill? Watermelon contains an amino acid called citrulline. It's a compound in our body that tells our blood vessels to relax. When the blood vessels are relaxed, it promotes healthy blood flow. You'll get aroused more easily. Let me reiterate, guys, you don't need any supplements. A nice glass of watermelon juice, like squeeze the juice out, get you some watermelon. It helps relax the blood vessels so that the blood flow can just go straight through to the penis. Bam. Got yourself a warrior. Tip number four, you wanna get someone that you're passionate about. This way, you're able to learn what she likes. I can remember when I was like 15 or 16 year old or 14, when my, my first time having sex, I was just pounding away, pounding, 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 because that's what I saw on porn. I was like, this is what she liked. Next day, I woke up with like blue balls, like my balls were killing me. And I'm sure she didn't enjoy it either. Now I'm walking around football practice, like holding my nuts, because I'm just like, damn, I've been pounding away for 45 minutes to an hour thinking I'm like doing something, but nine times out of 10, she does not like that pound, pound, pound. Unless you got yourself a freaky freak, 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 then you have a problem. But tip four, guys, you don't have to pound away. Learn what your lady likes, ask her, figure it out, and that's what pleases her, not just the banging motion. Tip number five, gentlemen, of course, of course I was gonna bring this in. Exercise and diet, please, a major role in your sexual performance. Not only does exercise give you a physical appearance that might turn her on, but it just helps with the blood flow through your body. It helps you work. It just helps you to stay active. It helps you to just be, you get it, diet guys. Certain foods like walnuts, asparagus, even cayenne pepper. It just helps with overall blood flow. Walnuts, they help you build testosterone. Testosterone is one of the major components 
and having a high libido. Libido is what keeps you horny. And then things like cayenne pepper, the heat or spicy food warms your body up. And when your body is warm and heated, it just helps with the circulation throughout your body. That's all you want. That's all it is, circulation. And last but definitely not least, you want to get some kissing. You want to get some foreplay, some kissing, some touching. Make her feel appreciated. Touching and kissing is a form of a compliment. It lets her know that you appreciate her body. You appreciate what she's doing. It's like affirmation to, to, for her to keep going, letting her know that she's doing a good job. And if she feels that she's doing a good job or she's pleasing you, I promise you, she'll be turned on a lot more. I promise you. All right, guys, those are my tips to help you be better in bed. Please do not have too much pride to implement these secrets. They'll help you out tremendously. If it's not just one person, please, 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 please protect yourself. Make sure you wear a condom. I don't care if she's on a plan B. I don't care if she's on what type of pill, whatever. Use protection, guys. That should have been number one. There you have it. It's your boy, Trailer Trainer. I'm out.